As you sit there representing your industry, what do you think the outcome will mean for your industry? So fraud is fraud. And it, the trial underscores the importance of enforcement being able to do its job to weed out uh, financial crimes. And as the indictment, um, if it's proven that in this trial that uh, financial crimes have been committed, the U.S. is based on rule of law, and that is a good thing. And we will see the outcome of that shortly, it seems. And for the industry, I will say this. Less hype, less noise, less bad actors, the better for the good innovators and uh, those who are trying to do the right thing, which includes responsible innovation and consumer protection going hand in hand. Talking of noise, though, there was a bit of noise surrounding, well, future sign-offs of spot ETFs. Yesterday, it made for a little bit of volatility in the OG of the crypto world that is Bitcoin because there was some expectation that the SEC might sign off on BlackRock's ETF proposal. And, of course, that was dampened down by the SEC itself saying, you know, don't believe everything on the Internet. But, Sandra, how much are you navigating this current noise and expectation in the market? So, with the organization that we have, which has Fortune 500s across to layer one blockchains, to crypto firms, to startups. We have to navigate a world where we focus on what is the problem people are solving for? How is te this technology actually useful for society? And frankly, what is the positive impact to society? So for us, it's really about getting down to bread and butter, what real world problems are being solved for, and how can these technology tools be used for furthering uh, solutions that are positive impact. Sandra, in parallel, we have this sort of industry-defining trial that will have ramifications for your industry. And we also wait to learn about approval, right, for products that expand uh, digital asset reach. Uh, give us your sort of state of the industry health check right now. When all of you and all of your members gather, are these positive conversations you're having or are you all down in the doldrums right now about the health of your industry? So as you can imagine, with a group as large as ours, one size does not fit all. Uh, the focus is really widening the aperture of discussion from our point of view, which is every industry sector is likely to be affected by things going digital. And in a world where everything is going digital, including money and financial products, what does that mean and what are the implications for each industry sector? Whether we're talking about supply chain, to digital identity, to wallets, and ultimately investing. Do you think ultimately that the, amid all the noise, you are able to show real world applications that do problem solve? You sit on so many boards. I'm looking how you're on the World Economic Forum's digital currency governance. You're also on Filecoins, for example, but you're doing things within the EU public funds and new green economy. What problems need to be resonated to be solved here for basically crypto and decentralized finance to, to sort of win hearts and minds a little bit more? I think it's getting back to basics. Are you actually helping to solve real world problems? I'll give one example of a project we have going on right now with the UN World Food Program. Billions of dollars of donor funds go into the system across the development world. And there's very little visibility around making sure that there is a 360 degree accountability on the fact that wherever it was supposed to go, it actually went to that city or village or community. And I think we need to think about how we design systems to allow for that accountability. It is not about being big brother. There needs to be human rights and consumer protection built into design. But ultimately, we need to think about how we affect positive transparency, mm. build trust.